up? I'm Jeff McDaniel. Here is your daily walk program. And walking is so beneficial for so many. Uh, this, it's a baseline of activity. So it's something we should be able to ideally do every day. What I want to do is teach you how to walk and walk correctly so that we don't get things like plantar fasciitis, twisted ankles, uh, runner's knee, hip impingements, back pains. You should feel better at the end of the walk. You shouldn't feel tight and stiff. So let me show you some things. Number one, always warm up with a little bit of like some mobility work. So whether that's some calf raises to kind of loosen up your heel cords, Achilles tendon. What I like to do is do at least one minute of here just against the wall, alternating calf raises. And what that does is it teaches you, number one, how to have your toes forward, but it stretches out and warms up the heel cords before you go for walks. Give that a shot. Now, walking criteria four or five of them, okay? Maybe there's probably more, but let's start with this one. Number one, toes forward. Number two, soft knees. Number three, opposite arm leg action. Number four, rhythmic breathing, okay? So what are we talking about? Toes forward. You, you can't, can't be walking like this. You know, you see people sometimes like a, uh, the wheels of a car is going the wrong direction. They're actually going the wrong direction. So we gotta go toes forward. Second, soft knees. I don't wanna walk like Frankenstein, okay? So soft on the knees. If you feel like in the walk you're starting to tighten up, it's probably because you're a little bit stiff with your legs. Just kind of get a little bounce sometimes. Sometimes I'm walking and I'll just kind of bounce, loosen up a little bit. Number three, opposite arm leg action. It, it, I, know, I know it sounds crazy, but people, this is how we're designed to move. We, you know, that is great if you're doing an end zone dance, but we, this is not for that, okay? So opposite arm leg action. Number four, rhythmic breathing. Four step inhale through the nose, four step exhale through the mouth. You're laughing. <laughs> the end zone dance. Okay, got it. Right. Okay, so four step, four step. Don't hold your breath, right? So I got to go four step. So watch, I'm going to take four steps. One, two, three, four. Four step in it. One more time. Watch. In through the nose. Don't, don't be a mouth breather. Okay, that's going to fatigue you. So. That's four keys to a successful walk. Get it in. You can start with like a mile walk, week one, two miles, week two, mile, uh, week three, bump that up to three miles. Great for baseline conditioning. Enjoy.